much walking through the cemetery and you can see these huge, really intricate uh, mausoleums and you have to think that you gotta have some money to, to be building these things. When you think of cemeteries, you think of people dying of, of old age. And at this cemetery, there's one thing that most of these people have in common. They're men and they're young. If you look at the years that they were born, this guy, 1983, this guy, 1981, over here, 1980. But, you know, it doesn't seem to stop. You can see all of these graves just ready for another killing, these, these men behind me building mausoleums. Right here, you can see this young man, Lupito, and up in the corner, um, an AK-47. So there have been more than a thousand murders this past year in in Sinaloa. How many out of out of that thousand? How many of those murders have been solved? <laughs> Ninguno. De esos mil sesenta, mil setenta asesinatos, eh, ninguno de los que está relacionado con narcotráfico se ha aclarado. Ni uno solo. At the morgue in Culiacan, I met a criminalist who gathers evidence to help solve the murders. So you are a criminalist here in Sinaloa. It's been a very violent year, not just here, but in all of Mexico. Um, has that made your job difficult? Hoy se estamos viendo un poquito más de violencia, un poquito más fuerte la, la, la cuestión de privarse de la vida. What are some of the ways in which people are being killed? What are the methods being used? Ahora lo que ha diferenciado es que ahora Tenemos muertes colectivas, que tenemos de tres, cuatro, cinco cadáveres en un solo hecho. Eh, pues ya me hace arma de fuego, este, gente que, que ha sido decapitada, gente que, que, o sea, que, que ha sido mutilada de alguna parte de su cuerpo. Vamos a ver, gente. ¿Qué pasó? Trae la dirección. Una pena, ¿no? So we were literally just conducting an interview with uh, a criminalist on the forensics team here, and he came out and he said there's a shooting, so we're going to follow that team to the site. My parents live in that neighborhood, so it's pretty scary always, because you're always thinking it might be one of your friends, or you might know that person. You never know. You never know what you're going to get. We arrived at the crime scene just as the forensics team was walking in. A doctor had been shot by two guys with assault rifles who stormed his office and gunned him down. Is this just normal? You just see, you've been just been... That's, that's his daughter. It's his daughter? Yeah. That's his wife and the daughter's in the car. and disturbing to think that this scene happens here every day, multiple times a day. Among all the different cartels, who is winning? Nadie. Nadie está ganando la guerra. Es una guerra de baja intensidad. 
comparada con otras guerras, eh, no se van a hacer, van a pasar una década y, y, y van a sobrevivir los cárteles. Son demasiado fuertes sus estructuras, no se van a hacer daño, digo, van a seguirse matando, pero las estructuras van a permanecer. So Miguel, what are you hearing? Uh, someone for mine. The contact he just called me. There is a shooting right now going on uh, about uh, outside a supermarket, about two miles from here. And there is uh, two dead bodies on there. Mitch, come here. Do you see the, sh the shell casings right here? Right here, you can see the bullet bullet casings right here. They're all over. Let's go around this way. Okay. Hurry before they before they close the line. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Allá afuera trae el cordón por favor, oiga, por favor, sí, dale. Hágame el favor, hija, por favor. Allá afuera, por favor, ya. Jefe. Did you see that? Allá afuera, por favor, oiga. Oh my God. Allá afuera el cordón, por favor, ya. So you could see that. So you can just see that there were two two people in the car and they were just mutilated. She's crying. She's that's his that's that's her son. That's her son. Leave me alone. That's my son. His cousin, the, the killers. He's cursing the killers. The killers, I, I curse the killers, whatever they are, why you stole this from me, why, why? Even though a couple people were just murdered in this parking lot, the supermarket is still open and people are still doing their grocery shopping. Do you think that things will get better? Do you have hope? No. No creo, y menos aquí en Culiacán. There's another shooting right now. There's another shooting right now. On the other side of the other part of town, it's uh, one dead person. Another person is dead yeah. in another part of town. But we'd seen enough and couldn't rush off to one more murder in a country where killings have become just a normal part of life.